Hi, today I want to talk about laptop bags that are leather and made in India. So there's two brands that I will be talking about today and both of them are manufactured in India, or so they claim. <laughs> so first is the Montana Hudson. It's, it is technically an American brand, but the all the purses so far that I've seen on the website seems to be made in India. And I have the vintage Ava leather zip tote and it has four compartments inside. This can fit up to a 15 inch laptop. And as you can see, you can either use it as a tote or a crossbody or a shoulder bag with a longer strap. And I love that it has those feet. So one of the features I really like about this purse is that if you unzip this front pocket, there's another strap here that you pull out. And if you are traveling, like going in the airport, you can just strap that there and it's fine. You can just drag the whole thing and not have to worry about a separate purse. Or put it on your shoulder if it's really heavy, you can just put it on your I've never had anything made of buffalo leather before and this purse, at least with the website, it claims to be made of buffalo leather. And I was wonderfully surprised about how thick I don't know if you can see that and how sturdy it feels it's really hard to explain it but compared to my other leather purses the leather just feels a lot thicker like it could stand abuse and this purse did come with a dust bag mh where <laughs> sorry but to me the dust bag is a little exact i'm used to dust bags being a little bit bigger but it still fits it works if you're bag is empty and you, you could still put it in there with the strap and everything and mine came with a wallet so on the website right now this is about $170 on sale I don't know if it ever will go back to the supposed original price of $500 but uh, it, I've been watching it for the last few months it's $170 I didn't buy this purse Montana Hudson sent me this purse and those are the pros, right? For the con, I will say that I they asked me what my preference is for color and I asked for Audix, which is the black or the navy blue, and they ended up giving me tan. I have no idea why, but you know what? It's To me, it's free, so I don't mind, and it's still a neutral color. It goes with so many things. However, if you're buying it, I hope you do get exactly what you want. And just to let you know, on the website, there's a lot of totes. Some are laptop totes and some are not. So if you're particularly shopping for a laptop purse, make sure that that tote is a laptop purse. And they're very clear. Their descriptions are very clear. So before I agreed to do a review or an evaluation of their product, I looked at Montana Hudson and I looked at their reviews and it was so extreme. Some people absolutely loved it and then some people are one of the complaints was the shipping took too long it had a weird smell oh and one said that they tried to exchange it or to get a refund and they had an issue so it did take long I think mine was supposed to arrive end of December it ended up arriving in January and because it came from India I get it it takes longer they don't I don't think they have a, wa a warehouse here I don't really know the company but it seems that a lot of the reviews are saying that it's from India so it's gonna take a while to get here so it doesn't mean that the company is not American I don't know the company very well but in a lot of our products a lot of companies even American companies they don't manufacture in America anymore. It's made in China, Vietnam, so on and so forth. So this is not an exception. That's the thing. So it could take long if you are ordering. Number two, the smell. It smelled a little different to me, but it didn't smell like chemical. That's my experience. Other people might have a different experience. I just think that because I've never had buffalo leather, then I had a different expectation and it was fine. I aired it out, no problem right now. And as for customer service, I didn't feel the need to exchange it because I didn't pay for it. So even if they didn't honor my request of color, that's fine because I got my purse for free. Now, if you're ordering and paying for something, then that's a different story and I hope you have a better experience. So, so the other brand that I want to talk about is Genesee. Genesee 
It's spelled G-E-N-I-C-C-I. -C -C -I. And my first thought was, oh, it's Italian, Genichi. <laughs> no, I looked it up online and it's actually a Dutch brand, but the purses are made in India. And there's one video that I stumbled on YouTube where the guy who's checking the stuff before shipping it out to Europe for, because they make it for Genesee, pronounces it Genesee. So I thought, well, if he's doing business with the actual company, then maybe he knows the pronunciation better than I do. So I stumbled on this, not on the website, but at TJ Maxx. And this was a TJ Maxx around $90. It's a little bit more online. I think it's a, a little bit more, but here's the thing. What I like about this is, even though I'm not a backpack person, I, it's a backpack, but I think this is so retro. <laughs> I don't know, I, I have a thing for retro things. And so even though you can use the buckle, which if you've seen some of my videos, I hate buckles. You can also just do that, just snap it open. And then once you do, you pull it out. See, this is the part that's very vintage and there, the laptop compartment. So supposedly this bag fits up to a 13 inch laptop. What's funny is that laptop right there is 14 and it still fits. So, hey, right? And I was talking to my husband about this because when we were at TJ Maxx, there were two Genesee purses or uh, laptop bags that were both backpacks. And I wasn't so keen on the other one. And I told him, well, would you use that? He goes, almost, except the other one had two buckles that also you don't need to use the buckle. I think you can just snap it open. But he goes, if I have to undo two things before I could get to my stuff, probably won't do it. But here's the picture. I didn't really see much reviews about this brand. I don't know if it's cowhide or buffalo hide or anything. I just know that it's made in India and that the company is Dutch. So other than that, I also didn't have an experience from the website. This was not given to me. Like I said, I got this from TJ Maxx. So I don't have any experience about the customer service or how long it takes or any of that. My only thing is, if you're also going to try to find this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, you're going to have a limited inventory, you're going to have limited designs and all that. So just keep that in mind. So I hope this video helped. If you're looking for a laptop bag that's more like a tote and your budget is under $200 and you want it to be real leather and you're going to use it for international traveling or use it with a luggage, I would recommend the Montana Hudson. If you are more of a backpack person and you want things can be either carried as a satchel or a backpack you have those choices then Genesee would probably be a better fit for you again they're both brands are under $200 they're both leather they're both made in India and this was inspired by my two college friends because a few months ago we were talking about how hard it is to get a decent laptop bag and one of them found one from Coach that she liked that she bought four years ago and it's still holding up well. However, when my other friend tried to buy it recently, she can't find it anymore. And so we started exploring other laptop bags. As for me, I used to just have a laptop sleeve that I would put my laptop in and then put it in my, any bag really. The problem with that is the laptop sleeve, of course, the thicker it is for me, it's better because of the cushioning power. Well, it doesn't always fit my purse. So I ended up looking at actual laptop bags so I don't have to have a sleeve and just dump it all in there and, and good to go, right? So anyway, I hope that helps. And if you have tried either one, let me know what your experience is and I hope it's good.